Grab a seat, everyone. Thank you. We've got Ross Carr with the first question. Thanks, Ross. Uh, Steve, you're Steve, the sorry, over here. Uh, your initial thoughts on the loss? No, losing sucks. I've already said that before. So, but um, two things I've got to say. One, I'm, I'm extremely proud of our blokes, uh, 14 men against such a good side. We've said they're a good side right from the day they were selected, and they've proven that to everybody tonight. Uh, so, very proud of our guys, and, and congratulations to the line. You know, they they've, they worked and worked the top of us in the last five minutes to, to get in front or the last ten minutes to get in front. So congratulations to them and now we've got to head to, to Auckland and uh, it's one each. So we'll all get excited about that. Outside of the uh, red card, you know, what were the things that you thought could have gone better? Oh, I didn't think we started the game well. I thought they, they controlled the, probably the first 15 to 20 minutes of the game and um, yeah, we could, we've got to do that better. Um, and you'd have to say that uh, we didn't control the last uh, 15 or so minutes. So there'll be areas we'll look at. But, you know, like, it's difficult to... Uh, you can't say our attack was poor because we, we didn't have uh, the opportunity to do the things we needed to do because of being a man down. So um, you can't say that uh, our defence was poor because uh, we gusted out. But we did, you know, like Izzy would be sitting there thinking he probably should have made that tackle on the first try and but you know that's rugby isn't it you get put under pressure and you miss those things so we've just got to go away and regroup uh, get our preparation right and and look forward to next Saturday yep Chris on the left um S Steve do you have any complaints about the red card and what impact did it have on the game I think the impact's pretty obvious so we won't don't even have to talk about that and and the red card's a red card like the ref says it's a red card that you don't have any say in it so it'll now go to a process and and um, be dealt with accordingly, and uh, you know we'll accept whatever happens. Did you think it was a fair call? Oh, it was one of those ones that could have been a yellow or a red, but he chose it to be a red, and that you know you just got to live with that. Like I've said before during the week, that there's always a process, and you just got to go through with that process. There's no point whining about it. And uh, you know Sonny didn't use his arm, so he gave himself um, and you know, put himself at risk, and uh, unfortunately he collected. Uh, young Anthony's head and, and uh, put him at risk. So you don't want that, and, and the referee deemed it a, a red card. So off you go, boy. Who's got the next question? Are we done? Ross? Um, Steve, um, just the, the final penalty with, with Farmawina, what's your understanding of that rule if a player jumps to catch a pass as opposed to jumping to take a ball? Oh, look, I think it's tough, but the law is the law, and you know, like, if you look at it, Charlie's in the middle of about to make his tackle, he's a big boy, about 133 kg, hasn't got the ability to stop halfway through, and then you know, the Lions player leapt in the air to catch it because it was a poor pass, so it was tough, but again, that, you just got to live with it. You know? like... Yep, Liam, Liam in the middle, can we get a microphone to Liam, please? Kieran, can you just talk about um, what it was like to play for 55 minutes of 14 men and um, just near the end, did you feel like, you know, after gutsing it out, that ran out a bit of steam in the end? Um, I don't think so. I don't think it, it obviously changed how we had to play the game. Um, so it had to be a bit smarter, I guess, in, uh, you know, our game plan. Um, couldn't do exactly what we wanted to do. Uh, had to change our line out a little bit um, and our attack. But other than that... Um, you know, it's it's 14 guys. We just work hard for each other, and that kind of is what it felt like. I think um, it showed when we were on top that it wasn't too much of a disadvantage. I think it was just when we um, missed a couple of key moments, I guess, um, and they, they took their opportunities. So um, I don't think it was too much of a factor. Yep, Jim Kay's down the back. Steve, you made that change after um, Sonny got sent off. Given the conditions, did you sort of pause to think about that, whether you wanted to keep your eight and, and leave it a bit shorter in the backs, or did you just automatically think, no, we've got to cover out wide? Uh, we thought about it, but we didn't think about it for too long. You've got to make decisions, and, and uh, you know, very comfortable with how the forwards were going to cope with it. And, uh, 
yeah, we still had the opportunity to bring a forward back on later in the game if we, we chose to. But, um, you know, look, you're damned if you do and damned if you don't, aren't you? Because if we'd, if we'd left the forward on, they may have scored more tries out in the back. So, um, you know, we, we rolled the dice and, and uh, you know, did it work? Well, we lost the game, so you may as well say it didn't work. But uh, you know, our job is to, to make decisions in the heat of the battle, and that was the decision we made based on we wanted to be able to cover more space uh, away from the set piece. Yep, question here. Kieran, with the atmosphere in the ground, did it feel like an away game for you with that Lions chance going around? Uh, not really. No, I felt it was a great atmosphere. I think it's uh, a special thing about a Lions series tour like this. It's um, just a special time to play, I guess. Um, you know, I think the 15 or 14 men for us on the field, 15 from them. Uh, when you're out in the heat of the moment, it's, it's white noise in some ways. Um, you're just out there doing your job and... Um, you know, it's great to have a full house and, and some great fans who are yelling and screaming. It doesn't make too much of an effect on us. And that, was your, that was your 99th game uh, test match. Was that one of the most intense battles you've had on a rugby field? Um, it would be up there. I don't think, um, you know, there's, yeah, I've been for a few, mate. <laughs> I probably can't remember all of them. But um, in some ways, I think the way we had to adapt, it was a tough one from us. You know, going to 14 men, it, it meant we had to make a few decisions on the field um, that we probably wouldn't normally have had to do. Had to do. Um, and how hey, I said it all week, and you guys are telling us the Lions are going to bring something different. Um, and we got that. We got that from our side. And um, yeah, it was a good, tough battle. It's exactly, I guess, what we want. And um, probably ramp up again next week. So look forward to that. Yep, question on the right. Steve, how did you feel that 10, Lions 10 12 uh, affected the game? And what are you expecting next week? Uh, well, I'm assuming you'll select them again, so you'll be pretty happy with the, the outcome. Uh, you know, they look to, to play, and, and um, so we, we got from them what we expected. Uh, how did it affect the game? Well, you know, again, it's tough, hard to know when you, you've only got 14 blokes on the park. Uh, but, you know, certainly uh, they came with a plan, and you know, in their first 20 minutes they uh, took it to us, and uh, unfortunately, just after that, we lost Sonny. So, uh, yeah, had a major effect on what happened next. So, um, regardless of all that, I think you know the Lions played well enough to win it and deserved to win it. And, and we go one all now into to a series decider in Auckland. So we should all get excited about that. Yep, Nigel down the back on the left. Steve, there appeared to be a little bit of an incident as the All Blacks were walking through the Guard of Honour. Has anything been said? Uh, to I, you, I, were you aware of that? Don't know. I don't, I don't know anything about it. So, would you, would you be disappointed if there was uh, an incident, given that the spirit that we have seen throughout this Lions tour and that that guard of honour, which has been quite a nice tradition at the end of each game, if there was? Oh, I suppose I would be if something happened, but you know, there's no point in commenting on something I don't know about, Nigel. So, if you if you saw something, then I guess you could comment on it, but I haven't seen it. So, no. who's got the next question? Joe, in front, yep. Uh, Steve, uh, I guess, does the loss sting less given the red card and how much confidence do you take? You know, you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Lions with 14 men until the 75th minute. It doesn't uh, make it any easier to swallow, my old mate, no. Uh, I told you last week, or during the week, losing sucks. And uh, it's whether you've got 15, 25 or, or two, uh, it sucks. But, you know, tonight was our turn to have to take it on the chin and, and um, yeah, it's all very well being good good and gracious winners. We've got to do the same when we got beaten. Tonight we got beaten by a team that played better than we did and we have to accept that. Um, but we have to go away now as, as uh, an all-black team, prepare better, uh, work harder and come out to, to try and win the series next week. Save down the back. Kieran, the Lions gave away about six or seven penalties in a row. Did you think at that stage the ref might have gone for a card? Uh, were you frustrated with the game being slowed down at certain times as well? Uh, yeah, that's it's what we'll get uh, next week again. So um, we'll just have to deal with that best we can. I think, yeah, the discipline thing is it was a tough one. Probably both sides are probably guilty of giving away a few too many. Um, yeah, you know, as showed on the scoreboard, you certainly don't want to be kicking penalties, but 
that's the way we've got to do it. We'll do it that way. Um, and yeah, you know, Jerome, he, I thought he dealt with it pretty nicely. It would be, you know, um, there's things to look at every every phase, every ruck. There's obviously something that them or the ARs can have a look for if they want to. Um, so we've just got to adapt to what they rule. Last couple of questions. One in the front here. Hand up. Steve Bowden uh, missed a couple of kicks that potentially proved crucial. Uh, is that a worry at all for, with next week in mind? No, kicked 100% last time up there. So, like, games are obviously won and lost with goal kicking, but they're also won by doing your job right across from number one to 23. And tonight, you know, the Lions did their job better than we did. So uh, that's where we've got to start and look to, to fix that. So, no, I'm not worried about his goal kicking at all, no. We've got one more question, or we... Yep, last question right here. Ian, thank you with the mic. Cheers. Steve, um, when Jerome Garces was reviewing Sonny Bill Williams' tackle, he used the word intent. Has he got intentionally gone out to hurt an opponent there? Oh, I don't think so, no. Uh, but I'm not Sonny Bill, so I don't know what his intent was. And, you know, with, uh, I don't know that Jerome does either, you know. What, did Vunapolo intend to take Bowden Barrett's head off? You know, I don't think so. Uh, but that's what happens. You know, things in the heat of the game, we talked about this last week in a, at the press conference, things happen in the heat of the moment that players end up getting on the wrong side of the law and are they intentional? I still don't think that anyone does that, you know. And uh, But unfortunately it happens and, and there's a process that'll deal with it. You know, both incidences I'm picking. So uh, all you want from your ref is consistency. And um, again, uh, you know, there's a process for that if it's not right. So if you don't believe you've got consistency, well, so there's no point in me making any comment about what Jerome Garcia says on the, on the loudspeaker or on the air, you know. It's just, it's just media stuff, isn't it? And, and we're not going into that. Look, what you should be getting excited about is it's one all. Uh, in a Lions series, uh, Lions played well tonight and won the game and we're going to go to Auckland and try and win it and they're going to go to Auckland and try and win it. So uh, it's pretty exciting. Thanks, everyone. We'll wrap it up there and we'll have players in the mix zone soon.